What's up YouTube and welcome to this DC Rebirth video. Now there is quite a lot of shit going on in the DC Rebirth. Obviously since New 52 we've had new origin stories, updated origin stories and complete brand new enemies such as the Court of Owls for Batman. Of course some of these were a bit hit and miss and a lot of these books were retired because they initially launched 52 these series which well, I guess that kind of makes a lot of sense but since then we have had a DC Rebirth which has proved that DC really are the kings when it comes to writing comics today because Marvel's Civil War series has been completely lackluster yeah let me know in the comments if you disagree with that so we've had mystery we've had the big reveal that somehow the Watchmen universe is involved so the first kind of official sort of reveal that this was a thing is after Wally West turns up in the Batcave after being missing for so long. Well, this little thing here, this comedian badge, which you'll recognise from the comedian in the Watchmen series, well, it just appeared out of nowhere in the Batcave, which is incredibly strange. So, obviously, if you would have noticed in New 52, there was a huge gap in time. Batman was very early on in his career. Superman had just about uh, landed or just appeared to have his Superman persona on Earth. And Wally West turned up in the amazing Jeff Johns penned one-shot for DC Rebirth, which kicked start the new kind of, I'd say... Um, the line, I'd say, is the, the best thing you can describe it, really, Rebirth, because it isn't as in-depth as New 52, but it is changing the ethos of DC. So he's pretty much trying to work out where, why was he taken out of the timeline, and where has this 10 years gone from the DC universe? So we've even had the mysterious Mr. Oz appear in the Superman comics, he has also appeared in Batman as well when the Red Robin is taken away, appears to be killed, but then just appears in a weird kind of collector style dungeon, just like Doomsday in the Superman Doomsday arc. So it seems things are being taken away, time has disappeared, and Wonder Woman is no exception. So Wonder Woman Rebirth was an issue which pretty much started with a bi-monthly release schedule. We had an origin story, because obviously Wonder Woman has had multiple origin stories, and we also have a story set in the kind of modern day. However, things have changed quite a lot, and it seems like a lot of time has been taken away from Diana, and her memories are starting to fade and disappear, as she can't remember just where her Paradise Island is. So we had a huge revelation in the latest issue of Wonder Woman, where she removes her iconic braces and then starts to realise that things aren't what they seem. So once she left the island with Steve Trevor, well, her life has been a complete lie and it's been manipulated by a mysterious force, which many are believing that it would be Dr. Manhattan, and Dr. Manhattan has been manipulating everything in her life so far because he has manipulated the DC Universe. So time has completely changed for her as well. Lots of things are completely different in the New 52 Universe and also in the Rebirth Universe as well. And I believe that this is definitely down to Dr. Manhattan and somehow Oz as well, if he is in cahoots with each other. It is down to them meddling with the time, but not sure why. But that's it for this video. Please drop a like, please subscribe. I'll see you soon. Goodbye.